evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Mainz against Werder Bremen. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Here's the initial 11 for Mainz. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And a look at the starting 11 for Werder Bremen. Well, they're also set up with a back five. But I think key today will be the central midfield. Whichever side dominates that area will be able to get their wing backs further forward and get them in the play. And now they get the ball rolling. Karim Onisibo. Careless in possession. Romano Schmidt, Anthony Jung, Schmidt. Now will they be able to play it in behind the defence and reading it absolutely superbly? And he keeps going. And a decent delivery. Can he finish here? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Marvin Dux. Ball with Bittencourt. Fulkrug. And he takes it away. Dominic Kaur. And the ball with Onisibo. Marvin Dux. Phil Krug. Marco Friedel now. Christian Gross. Romano Schmidt. Here's Fulkrug. They've regained possession. Boetius. Karim Onisibo. It's with Widmer. 
Could be threatening. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And over it comes, foiling them effectively. Is this the moment? And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Elects to go short. Jean-Paul Voetius. Can he put it away? Oh, surely. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Delivering it. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Marvin Dux. Ball with Bittencourt. Gross. And that was a very fine read. Well, the hosts have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes, creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. An incisive pass. He's just got to continue his run. Oh, that is a superb save. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And now they get the ball rolling. And a decent delivery. Can he finish here? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Delivering it. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. 
Phil Krug. Romano Schmidt. Here's Phil Krug. Gross. Schmidt. Oh, he's given us away. Bittencourt. Karim Onisivo. Dominic Koa. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. And unable to keep the ball. Superb effort to keep it in. Karim Onisivo. They really look after the ball when they have it. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Might be dangerous. Wasted possession again. He made it look simple, really. Phil Krug. Possession given away, unfortunately. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Has someone to play it to. Still looking to get the shot off. Mitchell Weiser. Ball with Bittencourt. 20 minutes to go in this one. Gross. Bittencourt. Teammate available. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Phil Krug. Now he must favour the cross. Well, that piece of play very easy on the eye. This could be the equaliser. your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game you have cause to be thankful well that could be a key moment they have to take those sort of chances they won't get too many more but let's credit the goalkeeper well what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium the fans are driving the players on surely they'll hang on here rob them Alexander Hack. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Can someone get on the end of this? Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Pulls it back. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks.
Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today. And a decent delivery. Can he finish here? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that?